Welcome RPA Champions. This is the RPA Champion and in today's video you will learning, be learning about Power Automate Desktop, how to set it up, how to get started with it and also you will learn some trivia and some very important information about Power Automate Desktop that have just happened. So just to get started, get the ball starting, uh, Power Automate Desktop uh, has been available for free on Windows licenses. So uh, this is a huge thing because right now everybody is going to have a RPA tool that is going to allow them to automate processes on their desktop. Uh, in other words, what does that mean? That means that anybody is going to be able to automate repetitive tasks and processes and take part in the RPA and in the digitalization of processes inside of company. Now, again, this is huge because so far this market has been dominated by players in the industry that have been uh, that are usually license based and expensive technologies and by microsoft introducing their uh, base technology for free this is really huge and really a game changer so without further ado uh, sit back in your chair grab a cup of tea and let's get started i will show you how we get started with power automate so the first thing that we have to do is download Power Automate Desktop if you haven't done so already. Now there is different ways that we can download Power Automate Desktop. It is very easy. We can download it from our uh, homepage where we uh, use Power Automate in the cloud to build uh, to build flows. So just by going from our My Flows and by clicking on Install, we can download it. But we'll be back there in a second the other way also if you don't have a cloud account you can just download it for free uh, just by searching for it on google and going on to the flowmicrosoft.com webpage now uh, it will require you to create a microsoft online account so do create one uh, we are not going to cover that now let's just download the tool and let's walk through the installation process and get started with power automate now a couple of things to mention regarding power automate before uh, before getting uh, before getting into it is that uh, power automate has also a very uh, large resource library for learning on the microsoft learning center that is available from the uh, from the um, top pane from the uh, from the online and it's also available from the uh, from our uh, main page where we build automations so from here we can go to the bottom and we can uh, we can click on the learning and get more information about how to set up power automate now uh, let's wait for our installation to complete and once it's completed we will be able to set up power automate now this uh, news that power automate is going to be free with all of the different uh, with all of the with all of the licenses in windows is part of a big announcement that has been made by microsoft that has uh, that includes also the other power tools uh, news regarding uh, dataverse news regarding power apps news regarding power bi they uh, microsoft is investing a lot into enhancing and improving their uh, power suite of apps and really investing a lot into um, empowering citizen developers now to install microsoft power automate it is very straightforward i will uh, be unchecking the box of uh, uh, connecting my computer remotely now uh, we also forgot i forgot to mention that there is two ways that we can install power automate we can install it via this way or if we have a gateway we could have installed it via gateway now uh, let's just uh, see a little bit more information about this so this uh, this basically says that uh, we are not going to be able to uh, connect our computer to run flows in in the cloud so that is perfectly fine for this installation now uh, let's click on next and let's install our uh, our power automate
Now, as the installation proceeds, we will also be prompt with the option of installing plugins for Google Chrome or a uh, plugin for uh, Microsoft Edge or for whatever browser we are going to be working with. So uh, Power Automate is going to help us and allow us to uh, automate uh, applications that are either installed on our computer or applications that are working on the browser. So it's going to help us uh, cruise between different web pages. So here it is. This is the uh, before completing our installation of Power Automate. I will set up and install the uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge, because I prefer to use Microsoft Edge. I know it is uh, it is weird, but I'm just giving it a try. So uh, I will get the uh, Microsoft Edge uh, plugin. This will allow Power Automate to connect with the browser and allow me to spy different elements in the browser and allow Power Automate to trigger and click on and interact with different elements inside of the browser. So Power Automate is basically an application that is going to interact with the different components of the different applications that are either installed on your computer or that are running in the browser. And this is pretty amazing. Before to do something like this, we would have to write tons and tons of code in Python or in whatever language, and we would have to package that code in an application so that the user could use it. Uh, this is uh, truly the beginning of uh, a, a revolution because it's allowing everybody now to have access to this uh, technology. And the more that uh, the people use it, the more it will become widespread. So right now there is a lot of um, uh, a lot of activities and manual tasks that we could actually uh, automate and save time. So uh, I have also, uh, by the enabling developer mode, we can see uh, our ID that I have blurred out. Uh, I will not be enabling developer mode. So on the extension, we can also configure different uh, different parameters regarding the connection. I will be leaving everything as default for right now. And if we have any issues later when creating our uh, connections, we will be fine tuning it then. Now connect to your uh, Power Automate using your Microsoft account. This will uh, allow you to use, uh, to use Power Automate. So once you have collected, we have seen that well the, the installation has been pretty straightforward and we have already installed power automate now once we connect inside of the uh, our environment once we log in we will see that we have our environment this is where we are going to be working and we can already start creating automations and automating different activities and tasks that we might want to automate now let's click on new flow and we could just check out that everything is working and let's create a new flow and let's call it my first flow now once we create our flow we are we can see that our flow has been created uh, we can edit it we can run it we can do different things well obviously right now we cannot because uh, right now the studio is loading uh, so in the meantime while the studio is loading uh, let's explore the different settings of power automate and what it is offering so you can see that we can have it start at uh, uh, on application start and uh, and and different uh, different configuration so here uh, this what has opened on my other screen this is the studio this is where we are going to be building the different uh, the different processes and the different flows uh, we can see that uh, on the left side we have our different uh, actions that we can use to build the flow and on the right side we have things like variables and things that are going to help us uh, give information and detail inside of the different processes that we have. Uh, all right, so this it covers the installation setup and a little bit of trivia about Power Automate. I hope this was interesting. Now, uh, before creating our uh, our flow, I want to remind you just to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to have a cup of tea, sit back in your chair, and also make sure that you have caught up uh, with the video. Before proceeding, set up Power Automate on your computer, uh, get it going, and let's move on to the next video when we are going to see how we can uh, create a basic process and use Power Automate. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying with me, for watching this. I will be seeing you in the next video.